Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Eleanor. I'm in Houston now. Good morning and uh, good evening. And today I invite uh, invite Amy to join our interview. He, uh, she is our business partner and also my uh, also my coach. Yeah, and uh, she has been running this business for three years and uh, running this very successfully. So I want to introduce uh, her for uh, uh, let her introduce herself for a while. Hi, so my name is Amy, and I I'm I came from Taiwan. I'm a mom of two. And uh, so about four years ago, uh, me and my husband decided to move to Canada because of a lot of the reasons, like you want to have a better environment for kids and you want to have <laughs> like, a better, um, better future for ourselves. And so we came here and that's how I, how I embarked and started on this uh, digital journey. Okay. Um, so... You uh you joined this uh, business after you moved to the Toronto uh, no not uh, Vancouver. Vancouver yeah, yeah Vancouver okay so uh what's the chance you find this uh digital business and you want to join it so um when we came because my husband couldn't work at that time and so it's all on me and I didn't want to go out there and then find a job because. Clearly, if I want to find a job, it won't pay mm -hmm. enough. And not only that, I will miss out all the time or find my kids because that time my kids always only one and three. And then uh, my husband wasn't having the best health condition either. So I want to be home mm -hmm. with them. And so instead of looking for a job, I start to look online for any opportunity I could find so I could be at home with them. And I try many things like um, e-commerce, like selling on Amazon and Shopify, right? Or mm -hmm. lead, lead gen for different corporations. Or, or I try um, like things that in, it's not true or something that is like, yeah, it's, it's a lot of mess out there. And so I wasted a lot of time and money. And when I was about to give up, I remember clearly that day, my boy was hiding under the, the, the table, like then holding my, my leg. And my girl mm -hmm. was in my lap, like she's, they both fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And um, and I was still on my laptop, like trying to find something. And I saw um, a girl talking about this digital business that she's able to run. And she works in the family nail salon and she's sick and tired of actually touching people's feet. And so, so I was like, okay. And now she's living in, in a, a condo like next to the ocean, which is like, oh my God, how did she do that? And she often um, saying that uh, if you want to meet up and work and work together in the coffee shop, we could. And that time I was, um, I have been looking for a lot of things. And the worst thing that about um, the online business is that there's no mentor. There's like, and then also not, well, there is mentor and coach, but then you have mm -hmm. to pay for hours. And it comes down into your business calculation. That's a lot of um, education fund, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I could actually see a real person. I don't have to book online and then schedule it and then wait for, for it on the schedule. And then and then the, the time is only like 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, if you are not done, you have to book the next one. And then when the girl when that the girl was talking about that, I was like, okay, perfect. And I went in and checked out the workshop, and then um, I never looked back. I'm still here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you joined for uh, have joined for three years, and uh, you didn't uh, do any work, just focus on here, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Um, during during the period you joined this business, what's the biggest challenge you faced uh, for this uh, digital business? Uh, I think it's this time I started this, like the first half year to a year. And that's the time when my kids is still small, right? And you need to find the balance of taking care of the kids at the same time working. And I try to try I try my best to um, only work on my business at the night time. And then, or when when they are uh, occupied with something, right? 
And so, so I think it's the, the, the time balance with having taking care of the kids and, and your husband and still do the housework, right? Mm. And the other thing is that I think, what's the hardest part? I think the hardest part is all here. <laughs> it's all mm -hmm. mentally because a lot of time um, I will be sleeping with my kids. I take them to sleep. And sometimes I feel really tired. I need to, I want to like fall asleep with them. But it's, it's where like in here is telling me that I need to get up and do something because you don't want to waste this time. So mm -hmm. you fight with yourself <laughs> saying you need to get up and then do some work because there's only uh, so many hours a day, right? Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I think, I think that's like yourself is the part that overcome, like I have to overcome most. The other one will be English. When I started this, um, I forgot mm -hmm. all my I forgot all my English that I learned it before I gave it back to the teacher, and and then so I stay spend a lot of time like um, work on my English skill. So that's a, a, another big thing because all the training in in the in the system is English, and that helped me to improve my English a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that uh, you had your own business in Taiwan before you moved to the Canada. And compared to your previous, uh, your business experience, what's the difference between your uh, your own own business before and this digital business? Oh my God! So in Taiwan, um, to be able to come here, to I mean, oh. to be able to come here, I have to sell my sell my business, right? Mm -hmm. And I was lucky, like I was, I was in a good good space that I was able to do that. And so for some people, you just have to let it go, and mm -hmm. it takes like years to build, right? So I think location wise, um, next time let's say if my husband find a job and and then uh, it's actually located in Toronto or somewhere else in the world. I could mm -hmm. literally pick up everything and then bring my laptop and I'm still working. I still have this business. So this is a global business. The other thing is that um, the business that I had before, if I'm not there, the business is not working, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas in this, once you set up everything, everything is already in automation. So when I'm taking my kids to park, when I'm taking my kids to, to beach, then uh, my business is still running for me. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge difference. And other than that, um, I don't need to worry about shipping and handling with the, the global aspect. I don't need to worry about um, taking care of staff, like hiring mm -hmm. staff and then, and then, oh my God, it's not, it's not a good fit and then you have to let it go, right? <laughs> and then you have to pay a long sum of, of um, food money to, to let them go. But then, and then there's this training part that you need to take care of for your own staff when you are having an offline business. Whereas in here, everyone is occupied by themselves. They, you own your business by yourself, for yourself, but you're never alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have a one more question. You uh, mentioned the language barrier because many people, they afraid of uh, to join many English webinar or meeting because uh, they did, they, they don't use English as their native language in their in their living place. So, um, how how do you overcome your language barrier? Because um, you have to uh, contact with lots of foreign people in this digital business. Um, so, in the beginning, I don't contact them. I just kind of um, mm -hmm. before COVID, is like actually a lot of parties. And I, I see my, myself just going to parties. Mm -hmm. Like they, they get together, they brainstorm together in, in a, a bar or something. And then we talk about different ideas. And then um, we ask questions for each other. Like if I have questions on the training, I will go to those parties too to ask questions. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of people. And because I want it so bad, I wasn't afraid to ask. And when I was asking, what I realized was that People in here were so nice. They have no financial connection with you. They just pay, they will just stay stay there, spend like extra um, 10, 10, 20, or even half hour mm -hmm. to actually explain to you, with you one question because you couldn't explain well. And I was having a lot of hand gesture. I was drawing on paper to actually explain it. 
Um, and um, they are just there patiently waiting to understand the question and then get back to me in a way I could understand. So I feel very comfortable when I'm having my my um, bad English, mm -hmm. <laughs> English when I'm talking to them because of the acceptance of, of um, the, the, the culture in this business. And so, yeah, and, and, and my mentor is amazing. We have to write a lot of... Um, like scripts and things like that. Mm -hmm. I send uh, my script to my mentor each day and after I write it and they will check it for me and then they will say, okay, this is how you write. They will cor correct the English um, structure for me, which mm -hmm. was a, a huge blessing. Yeah. So I think slowly, gradually, when you go to school, all your English is on Facebook. When you are using your English, then your English is with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we have to use it uh, in in our daily life, not um, put it in our head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, the trans uh, what's the transformation after you join this digital business? What's the difference? Mm. In the I think it's a lot of time lifestyle wise i'm still that full-time mom i still take my kids to school and then mm -hmm. i'm playing the park with them and the, the 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 biggest transformation that i had was i think for myself um because of this business because of how acceptance everyone is in in this um culture and i feel stronger than than ever and i'm not in a, a mom like only a mom anymore like I don't mm -hmm. depend my future on my kids. I depend my future on myself, right? I don't need to depend my future on my husband either. Like, like I could stand for myself, and no one could actually take away from take take that away from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, and uh, yeah, and I know you only need to work for uh, two to three hours uh, yeah. per day. It's really amazing for most of people because we have to go work and at least for eight hours per day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. when I start, I put out a few more hours that, than two when I, like the first month because I don't understand anything. But then after that, um, after, once everything sets up, and those two hours is actually pockets of time. It might be um, like 20 minutes in the morning and then 10 minutes mm -hmm. in the afternoon and then sat half hour at night time. And so it's really pockets of time. And mm -hmm. not everyone do that, though, in this business. There's still people putting in like 12 hours a, a day and mm -hmm. they are achieving crazy numbers. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I'm that, that uh, such a big dreamer. But then but then like this, there's a room for growth in this business. Like the sky is mm -hmm. the limit and it's really what you want in your life and you put mm -hmm. it into the same amount of work that you want. Yeah, and uh, after joining this business, uh, uh, if we stay in different stage, I think we need to arrange a different time on, the, on this business and depend on what you, you want to and you want to achieve, uh, yeah. what the goal you want to achieve. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's move to the final question. Um, can you give some encouragement to our audience? Um, there's two things in life that's complete. Like every time that you make a decision, there's two mm -hmm. things in your way. There's two paths. One is fear, one is faith, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. if you think back of... Um, how you how you decide on anything if you decide um something based on fear what is the result like what's the turn turn out after you decide on faith uh, on fear and then if you decide things on faith what is the result and turn out that you have on faith would you say um the 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 percentage of success is much better when you um when you believe in yourself and when you decide your um, path on faith. So that was a big lesson that I learned from um, running business. Mm -hmm. I, um, I never thought that um, I have always planned my day only for the day or for only for the, 
the hour later, right? <laughs> an hour later, I'm gonna pick up my kids. An hour later, I'm gonna cook. An hour later, I'm doing this and, and that. But I never think long terms. And because of this business, I get to. I start to think about okay, where would I like to go? Where would I take the kids for vacation? And what kind of class I want to lead them to enroll? And how am I gonna foresee that? Mm -hmm. And instead of bef like before, I I was scared to do a lot of things, especially when it comes to travel. And now it's like, yeah, let's do it. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. it's scary sometimes. Let's still do it. Like I would encourage my kids, if you think it's it's like scarcity and fear feels the same. Mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, and after I joined this digital business, I think uh, I have to learn some skill like uh, how to write uh, advertisements or uh, how to connect with some foreign people. And um, uh, I think you have overcome all this uh, change because uh, you 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 may uh, never think that you were need to write uh, advertisements before you join this, right? So mm -hmm. I think you still you still need to. Uh, learn and uh, uh, make lots of advertisements very successful. Yeah, I'm still learning. <laughs> still yeah. learning every day because I I love learning. It you you only grow when you move forward, right? So it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what I will say. Like people to to everyone who's who's watching here either on live or replay, um, take the chance of this um this online like online technology and really learn a new skill and you might be watching the webinar that we offer for free because mm -hmm. like i learned so much from that webinar alone i was mm -hmm. like i was looking at that webinar I was like oh my god all the stuff that i went through that didn't work out and it explained me it explained clearly why didn't it work why didn't um it work when i was doing e-commerce why didn't it work when i was doing legion why didn't it work when i got scanned right mm -hmm. <laughs> so 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 it explained the whole scope and I, I could actually save a lot of time if I actually I have actually just watched that workshop. Yeah, and uh, there are kinds of uh, social media platforms. So we always can learn many new things every day, like um, how to make a video and how to go YouTube <laughs> advertisements yeah. or LinkedIn, Pinterest. Uh, is, is that Facebook, there are many uh, new things we have to learn uh, every day. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, and uh, both of uh, Amy and uh, me are keeping uh, learning because uh, although Amy is a coach now, but she she's still uh, keep learning every day. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a um, it's a digital business to push us to move on every day because um internet uh, all the technology on the internet is very is uh, changing very quickly so we have to move ourselves on on this digital business but it's very uh, interesting and uh, it can uh, learn many things out of our imagination mm -hmm. yeah and i don't have to pay for additional training too right it's yes it's, it's, it's all very updated. incredible yeah, yeah it's very incredible and so many people that will share their authentic uh, experience to us and like how they make some uh, advertisement successfully i never heard that before i joined this digital business so i, I really learned lots of from this yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's amazing yeah, and I hope uh, this will be many people's uh, opportunity to uh, join a, a wonderful uh, business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So thank Amy for joining my interview, and uh, she she is not only do for he uh, her her in person her her personal uh, business, but she also have to run uh, many uh, training to us and to teach us how to how to uh, overcome our personal <laughs> barrier <laughs> and uh, how to um, write uh, advertisement. So there are many things we have to learn every day. Uh, yeah, so thank you for coming here and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.